So here's this program on BBC Horizons. The idea is people come into the restaurant, order off the menu, however many calories they order, a team around the back in the gym burns off that many calories. So obviously making a point about how much exercise it takes to burn off calories, but it is fundamentally flawed. So let's talk about this program and why it's bullshit. This tactic of burning off whatever food you've eaten doesn't work. Where do you draw the line between just the normal amount of food that you eat for the day and this extra food that you then have to burn off with exercise? If you eat something extra, then you have to you feel like you are forced to go and do exercise to burn that off, and then you eat something extra again afterwards. If you've got to go out and exercise again, you end up chasing your tail, trying to burn off all this food that you're eating throughout the day. Feeling like you have to go and exercise because of a food that you've eaten is disordered eating. That can lead to exercise bulimia. That's what that is, where you feel like you have to go and exercise because you've been bad and you've eaten something. This program is getting a lot of stick for that reason, from eating disorder charities, or from people with or recovering from eating disorders, and rightly so. It's a pretty insensitive time as well to put this out when people are stuck at home, can't be very active, can't exercise, bad move from the BBC. Interestingly, I see people often do the opposite, so they go and exercise and it says they've burnt 200 calories. So then they go and think, oh, I can have an extra 200 calories now. That kind of defeats the purpose. If you're doing that for the calorie burn, why just cancel it out? Also, typically, people will always underestimate how much they've eaten in calories and way overestimate how much they've burnt from exercise. When you're looking at calories burnt from exercise, remember that is compared to zero. But you're never burning zero calories. Just by being alive, you're burning some calories. And if you're being active, potting around, doing jobs, going for a walk, you're burning quite a few calories. So the difference between what you burn exercising and what you would have burnt just potting around, living your life, is actually what you've gained there, which is a much smaller amount. I think people do need educating on how much a calorie is, but saying, oh, this takes how much exercise to burn off doesn't make any sense. And it misses the point because one of the most important things people need to learn is that most of your calorie burn comes from just being active in the day. You don't have to do exercise. I would discourage pretty much everyone from using exercise to burn calories. Do exercise because it's good for your health. Lift weights because it's good for your health and it makes you look better. If you love running, then you can run, but you do not need to run or do any other form of cardio in order to lose weight. It's not necessary.